Hi guys and girls and welcome to another session of ASFN fishing in the lockdown where we're running through a whole bunch of kuta traces, different angles and different types of traces that you can use for kuta fishing also known as Spanish mackerel in Australia and king mackerel to the rest of the world pelagic species, a lot of people love eating them and targeting them fairly fast growing, interesting point about them is um, only fish over 9-10 kilos start breeding they turn female um, just a very interesting point so when you keep those bigger ones now you're keeping a mummy <laughs> I hope I worked on your your conscience there but any case all right guys so very exciting fish uh, to target many different ways of targeting you have to adapt your traces to your baits uh, dead bait live bait size of your bait and then all the variations of different skirts and stuff you can use we've covered the basics so in the description here we've put the first video that goes through all the stuff that you see here on the table which I used to make uh, uh, Kuta traces and also runs you through the basic principles of a lot of these bait carrying hooks how to make them and all the different different uh, Materials you'll need to tie a couple of traces now what I'm going to do today as I mentioned in some of the previous videos Is the the red trace become a fairly popular trace under guys all right and that's using the American fishing wire the red one, the blood uh, bleeding wire, one by seven, 45 pound test. All right, makes been great success on them for Kuta and they last longer than the piano. They don't kink as much, so you can catch more, in, more than one fish on a trace. All right, in this case, what I do is I use the Mustad Ultra Point, the size four, the Kevin Van Dam. it's a bass hook, all right? But a very nice thin gauge, very strong hook that I use for, for the red traces. Okay, and I'm gonna show you how to make this. I'm just gonna grab a carrying. This is for a dead bait. I use the sinkers. You can use it for certain life baits, but uh, the sinker attachment just to keep your dead bait straight up. All right, and then we'll need some wire. We're gonna need two hooks. This I use a red marker to make it red. It obviously doesn't stay, but you can spray paint your sinkers. You can do with it what you want. Guys, it's fishing. We learn new things every day. You never stop learning with, uh, in fishing. I'm gonna get a bit of cable down to work with. All right. Now what I do, I use figure of eight knots, guys. Very simple full piano wire and if you doesn't if, if you don't want it to kink you make a big loop when you tie the hook or make the knot but what's nice about the American fishing wire doesn't kink easily or as easy I still wet it I tighten it up not too much so you can still move it without damaging the coating and then once I get to the hook let's just do it the right way so that we don't get hooks in our fingers you just stick it around there and you pull it nice and tight and that's it you can still pull the tag in as well cut the tag it's going to be a short one so let's tie that I want a bit extra unfortunately tying the shorter one does waste a bit of cable because you need um, the additional length to be able to tie your knot. And still measuring that. You can use crimps, guys. If you battling with exactly the length you want, you can use crimps on these, which makes it a lot easier to achieve the length you require. Okay. So to just show you what I refer to now I'm gonna grab 
two crimps. And then do the shorter one on that. You will waste a lot less uh, while doing the crimping method. I just prefer the knots. Give me a sec. Then using a crimping tool, you'll just crimp them. Look at the length you want. Take it right up. Two crumbs. Cut your tag and there's your trace. Okay. Done. Then we add our leader, which is number four. I'm going to use for this purpose a size six, but also the size seven power swivel. Nice and small. Actually, I've got open package here, yeah. I'll take off enough. Okay, and then guys, for me, for the haywire twist, I like making a nice, neat little round, perfectly round loop, so you can use a nail or the punch I'm using. And you just make a nice little neat, and I make, for the swivel specifically, I make it slightly smaller. Just with less uh, visibility in the water. Oh. Select my skirt, a Kingfisher pool skirt. Now guys, uh, just worth mentioning, on the back of your uh, American Fishing Wire packet, it shows you exactly how to make the hay wire twist, and you have to practice that, as everybody has to. Then, after my skirt, I add a little, small little Kingfisher bead. Got that. Measure my length where exactly I want it. How long? Turn it. Got far too much seal here. Wasted some steel on this. We can use that to make another hook section. And that just attach to this hook.
Okay, gents and ladies, now that's your Kuta Trace using the American Fishing Wire Bleeding Wire, 45 pound. And there you have it, all done, ready to go. You can neaten up, I can neaten up my tags a bit here, as you can see. There we go. And uh, okay, I'll do. I'm gonna do one more trace in another video, so make sure you keep watching and make sure you've got that notification button ticked on all. Where I'll show you guys how to do a modular trace for Kuta, which is actually so nice that you can uh, you can adapt it to any size bait. You don't need as much terminal equipment to actually keep those traces and make those traces, and you can adapt to any circumstances, any baits, live bait, everything. So that will be the next video. And this I just stick in the Mustad trace bag. Very nice bag this. As you can see, lots of pockets and it's got the bottom section with an extra bunch of pockets. And that's it. Okay, guys, that's the Bleeding Wire Kuta Trace. Quite popular for catching quite a, 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 a lot of Kuta. And remember to send us those photos to grindelite at asfn.ceo.za. Alright, so any photos of, of nice kuta you get and give us some feedback of anything that we show you guys and you use it and you try it and it gets you resolved. Let us know about it. Thank you guys for you have subscribed already. If you haven't, please subscribe. Um, notification bell, if you want notifications, select all. It will send you all the notifications of the videos we upload, upload and please like the video. All the best in the lockdown period guys. I hope you make the best of it as we all have to and find the right positive ways to, to actually spend our time. Thanks for watching.